The electronic systems of the latest car models rely on a series of sensors attached to warning lights and symbols on the dashboard. Dashboard warning lights are color-coded to indicate their level of urgency. A red warning light usually indicates immediate action is required. While a yellow or orange dashboard warning light indicates that your engine management system has detected a malfunction. However, you may continue to drive your car with an orange dashboard warning light, but you should contact a mechanic as soon as possible for diagnosis and repair. Green or blue warning lights are simply informational. So, let's hit the road and find out what they mean. Car Dashboard Warning Lights First, let's discuss the red warning lights. These are the most critical and should never be ignored. Battery Charge Warning Light the battery charge warning light, often represented by a battery symbol or the word battery on your dashboard. This warning light indicates a problem with the vehicle's charging system. This light typically turns on when there is an issue with the battery, alternator, voltage regulator, loose to corroded battery cables, or other components of the charging system. Ignoring the battery charge warning light can lead to a dead battery and leave you stranded. Oil pressure warning light. The oil pressure warning light indicates that oil pressure in the engine is lower than necessary for proper operation. This could be caused by low oil levels, a failing oil pump, or a clogged oil filter. Driving with low oil pressure can cause severe engine damage. So, it's crucial to check the oil level and address any leaks or mechanical issues promptly. Engine Temperature Warning Light Engine temperature warning light is also known as coolant temperature warning light. The engine temperature warning light indicates that your vehicle's engine is overheating. When this light illuminates, it typically means that the engine's temperature has exceeded the safe operating range, which can lead to serious damage if not addressed promptly. This warning light can be triggered due to low coolant levels, a faulty thermostat, a broken water pump, or a damaged radiator. Brake System Warning Light Brake System Warning Light indicates an issue with the braking system. This light could mean low brake fluid, worn brake pads, or an issue with the brake hydraulic system. If the light comes on while driving, it may also indicate that the parking brake is engaged. Driving with brake warning light is very hazardous and it should be fixed as soon as possible. Power steering warning light. The power steering warning light indicates a problem with your vehicle's power steering system. This warning light may be triggered due to low power steering fluid, a failing power steering pump, or an electrical problem in electric power steering systems. Driving with power steering warning light is very hazardous. If the light remains on or if you notice difficulty in steering, have your vehicle inspected by a professional mechanic as soon as possible. Door ajar warning light. The door ajar warning light in a vehicle indicates that one or more of the doors are not fully closed. In many vehicles, when the door is not fully closed, the interior lights might remain on as a safety feature to alert the driver and passengers that a door is open. When this light is triggered, stop your vehicle in a safe location and visually inspect all doors, including the trunk or hatch, to ensure they are fully closed. Seat Belt Warning Light Seat Belt Warning Light indicates that the seat belts are not fastened. When the vehicle is started, the seat belt warning light illuminates if the driver or front passenger has not fastened their seat belt. It is usually accompanied by an audible warning, such as a chime or beep. Parking brake light. A parking brake warning light indicates the parking brake is engaged or there is an issue with the parking brake system. This light may also be triggered due to low brake fluid level. Next, let's look at the yellow or amber lights. These indicate issues that need attention but aren't necessarily immediate emergencies. ABS Warning Light The ABS warning light indicates a problem with the anti-lock braking system. The ABS is designed to prevent the wheels from locking up during hard braking, allowing the driver to maintain steering control. The ABS warning light can be triggered due to a faulty wheel speed sensors, damaged wires, faulty ABS module, low brake fluid or wheel bearing issues. Check engine light. The check engine light indicates an issue within the vehicle's engine, emission system, or other related components. This light can be triggered by a wide range of issues, including a faulty oxygen sensor, loose gas cap, 
catalytic converter issues, mass airflow sensor problems, or misfires. When the check engine light comes on, it's essential to diagnose the issue as soon as possible. Ignoring the light can lead to more serious problems and costly repairs. Tire pressure warning light. Tire pressure warning light indicates that the air pressure in at least one of your tires is below the recommended level. This light is part of the tire pressure monitoring system, TPMS, and serves as a crucial safety feature. Ignoring the tire pressure warning light can lead to decreased fuel efficiency, poor handling, and increased risk of tire failure, so it's important to address this warning promptly. Airbag warning light. The airbag warning light typically represented by a symbol of a person seated with a large circle in front. This warning indicates a potential problem with your vehicle's airbag system. This can prevent the airbags from deploying properly in the event of an accident, posing a significant safety risk. Ignoring the airbag warning light can put you at risk. Transmission temperature warning light. Transmission temperature warning light is usually depicted as a thermometer symbol inside a gear or similar icon. This light indicates the transmission is overheating. Transmission overheating can be caused due to low transmission fluid or internal transmission issues. Continuing to drive can cause serious damage, so it's best to stop and let the transmission cool down. Traction control warning light. The traction control warning light indicates an issue with your vehicle's traction control system. Often, this light will flash when the system is actively working to maintain traction, such as when you are driving on slippery surfaces. This is normal and indicates that the system is doing its job. If the light remains on steadily, it usually signifies a problem with the traction control system itself. Electronic stability control warning light. Electronic stability control warning light indicates that there may be an issue with your vehicle's electronic stability control system. If the light stays on and you haven't manually deactivated the system, it might indicate a malfunction. This could be due to a variety of reasons such as sensor issues, wiring problems, or other electronic faults within the system. Driving with escape light increases the risk of losing control in adverse conditions. Fuel cap warning light. The fuel cap warning light typically indicates that the fuel cap on your vehicle is not properly closed or tightened. To prevent the check fuel cap light from coming on, always make sure to tighten the fuel cap until you hear a click after refueling. Regularly inspect the fuel cap for any signs of wear and tear. Low fuel warning light. The low fuel warning light indicates that the fuel level in the tank is below a certain threshold, often around 10 to 15% of the tank's capacity. This is a reminder to refuel soon to avoid running out of gas. EPC warning light. The EPC warning light is a signal that there is an issue with your vehicle's throttle system. This light is typically found in Volkswagen, Audi, Seat, and Skoda vehicles. This warning light usually triggers due to a faulty throttle body, a faulty throttle position sensor, a faulty MAF sensor, damaged or loose wiring. Driving with the illuminating EPC light can lead to reduced engine performance, limited acceleration, and in some cases, the vehicle may go into limp mode. Service Stabilitrack Light The Service Stabilitrack warning message indicates that there is a problem with your vehicle's Stabilitrack system. This warning light is usually triggered due to a faulty wheel speed sensor, a faulty steering angle sensor, or brake system problems. Ignoring the Service Stabilitrack message can compromise your vehicle's handling and safety features, so it is essential to address the problem promptly. Glow Plug Warning Light the glow plug warning light is specific to diesel engines and indicates a problem with the glow plug system. Glow plugs are essential for starting a diesel engine, especially in cold weather. The glow plug light is triggered due to a bad glow plug, a faulty glow plug relay, low battery voltage, or damaged wiring. Security Alert Light The security alert warning light, also known as the security indicator light or anti-theft light, this light typically indicates an issue with the car's security system. The security indicator light blinks when the key is out of the ignition. This means the immobilizer system is active. This keeps the engine from starting if someone tries to steal your car. Ignoring the security alert warning light can result in the car not starting or other security-related problems. Reduced Power Warning Light The reduced power warning light, 
also known as the limp mode. This warning light indicates that there is an issue with the engine and the power is reduced to protect the engine. The reduced power warning light can be triggered due to different issues such as a bad throttle body, a bad MAF sensor, a bad oxygen sensor, engine misfiring, or an issue with the fuel system. When this light comes on, it's important to reduce speed and have your vehicle inspected as soon as possible by a qualified mechanic. Adaptive Cruise Control Light When the Adaptive Cruise Control Light turns on, it usually indicates an issue with the Adaptive Cruise Control System, such as an unsafe following distance, faulty Adaptive Cruise Control sensors, and bad weather. The Adaptive Cruise Control is a system that helps keep your vehicle at a certain speed to maintain a safe following distance. Lastly, let's talk about the green and blue lights. These are purely informational. Cruise Control Light Cruise control light indicates that the cruise control system is active and ready for use. It typically looks like a speedometer with an arrow or a car with a speed symbol. High beam indicator. The high beam symbol is a blue symbol with five horizontal lines vertically stacked to the left of a shape that resembles a headlight. This blue light means your high beams are on. Once the high beams have been turned off, this symbol will turn off as well. And there you have it. A quick guide to understanding your car's dashboard warning lights. Remember, these lights are designed to keep you informed and safe on the road. Don't ignore them, pay attention, and take action when needed.